Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to our Legions of Nagash playthrough where, where we're slowly doing okay. I'm a bit worried about up here with my, um, with the dwarves, but down here we're doing, no, we're not doing terribly, but yeah. Uh, we've had some setbacks, obviously, but we are, we are pushing again with our new lord. And yeah, and Nagash is on his way back home, and obviously we've got to finish I off cannot. Rapunzel's our last force. But once Nagash is over here, things will start really rolling again. Um, and let's see. Also, we want to get we want to get um, Krell back up and running as quickly as possible too. Uh, because clearly having him with a really solid force will be very good. Let's check what his buildings actually allow him to get. So yeah, unsurprisingly, he is all about the melee, considering the melee buffs he appears to have. So yeah, so he will be getting a full melee heavy, melee centric heavy army. I'll take Sigmar's throne. <clears throat> so we've pieced out with a few people at the moment. We are going to, Manny is going to go and hit, go towards... Uh, Karak Zorn. Let's just see. We need to work, get him building more. Basically, we're going to start pressuring both sides of these guys as soon as we can, anyway. Um, just got too many wars going on. Arkan needs a little bit of time to replenish. And yes. By the way, guys, feel absolutely fine in comment to tell in comments. To tell me off if I talk too fast. If I start going, oh my god, let me start talking. Timestamp it and tell me off. Uh, you are more than allowed to do that, guys. If I talk too fast, any sort of stuff like that, absolutely tell me off. Feedback. Basically, constructive feedback is more than welcome. So, yeah, going. I think melee defense here, though I do like the idea of spreading corruption to the local regions. Oh, we didn't get that one. Wrong, wrong mod. Though we are currently spreading corruption around throughout the world because... Not corruption. The correct... Uh, extra movement range there. Oh, look. The, the Tzich, Oracles of Tzich, Kairos Fate Weaver, has decided to declare war. And that's the other thing. We were also at war with Crocky, so. Slowly, we are going to have to take all of this, and we will probably have to poke Tzich at that time as well. Um, we're quite surrounded in the, uh, in the Southlands Bowl here. That said, we've you know, we've dealt with some of the major threats, and some of the other threats aren't willing to go to war with me yet. And the Skaven left. I want to get Morgheim leveled up before Krell actually leaves, so... Ah! Rapunz has decided that she wanted to die. There we go. And the Chevaliers de Leoness are no more. There we go. <clears throat> Don't know if I'll actually be able to take it, but... Uh, yeah, we will. Oh no, we lost a unit of skeletons. How will I cope? Yes, more warpstone. And the income one, because I don't think we actually. Yeah, we can't get it any bigger. So that worked perfectly, actually. <clears throat> Thy right is mine. 
up to my income quite nicely, right. Oops. This is a Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gonna fight it. Gonna fight it, because people keep telling me off for auto-resolving too many battles like this. God damn you guys. The thing is, and the reason auto-resolving is good, and, and it's the thing I dislike about the game at the moment, it... The game is currently built in a way which encourages you to auto-resolve. And that isn't good. It's something I actually think is... I think auto-resolve should always be beneficial. I think auto-resolve should also take you into account, so your win and loss ratio quite a lot. Um, but as it is, it's not great, because it, it, it literally is beneficial to auto-resolve, even if you lose units, because you will fully destroy their army. And that's quite a big thing, actually. So we are going to flood the center with cheap and cheerful. You guys can start out of the back there. These guys are going to form up on this flank. And these guys on this flank. There we go. And we're making them pirouette around already with just by having these guys behind. Basically, the plan is to engage heavily and then force them to um, then slowly uh, envelop. Damn it, why did you guys stop moving? I missed up somewhere. Die. Very well. Go! Closing them straight out. Yeet. Charge in. Buff the enemy with the dance of despair. Oh, what? Yeah. We surpass Nagat swiftly. Close down them.
Direct damage. Oh, it has to have less than 50 hit, hit points already. In which case. Pressure on. Blood magic. Do a different one to start with. Blood magic. You come in here, hit them. Break them. I mean, we've got this. It's, it's been a bit messy, but we got this. Navrata is winning this quite easily at the moment, which is nice. We are the new order. Try a bit of Healy out. Right, hit that. You can charge this to get them to, to stop them shooting because they are by far their most dangerous units. Especially against undead because I believe we have vulnerabilities to fire. The second he's on less than 50, we will hit him. That's a hell of a lot of damage. I don't want to let him run away. I want to kill him. Find me if you dare. Let's see just how much damage this spell does, guys. Because it looks fairly devastating. Vampire. Cannot move. He is resisting most of the damage. He is a dwarf, after all. seems to go off. That's right, just run around him in circles. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, I definitely did better than autoing. The downside is, I mean, I say that, I have wiped out most of their army, so that's good. It's good. So, you see, I did better by not autoing, guys, but sometimes I don't, and that's something I just need to accept. I, I honestly think that... Mm, no, I don't know. It's a bit of hit and miss. Some people like watching battles, some people don't. So I'm not going to do too many battles, guys. I'm not going to fight every battle. I would never fight every battle, because that would just be boring, but... And certain factions, like uh, against Wood Elves and things, just, just God no, because it's just painful to fight them. Yours is power I follow. Darkness come. Here we go. The clue is mine. Let's push out this way because I want to try and get to Karakdoma. We'll see how all this goes. Hmm. I want 
to strip away a lot of his units and make him much more Nakaran. Keeping one unit of flyers, we're keeping a couple of Nagashes as our guard. Though he'd probably be better with Tomb King units, but you know. Maybe I could give him more range, but no, for now that's fine. I would like Mortis engines and stuff in there. Yeah, for now, that'll do very nicely. Let's start heading towards here, because diamonds? Impress me. No, 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 no. Crelly, crow, 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 crow. Crelly, yes. Let's wait for that one to start with. Get Manny is night. While I may not use some of these units, it's not necessarily bad to have the ability to get them. And it does increase my capacity for other armies. See, that's what I really wanted there. That's the amazing one. There you go. The humans, the humans should love me because I'm clearly not evil. Uh, I mean, it is quite a good spell. But no, for now, let's keep buffing Manny's army. Ready. Hang on, I've just worked something out. Tomb King of Mehikara. That one. That one, Awkward Skeleton. Definitely not typing skelly because I'm having a brain fart on how to spell skele skele skeleton. <laughs> I'm not very dyslexic, honest. For those who don't know, guys, I, when I say that, please take into account I am extremely dyslexic. So if you are dyslexic, don't get insulted by me saying that. I am. So, yeah. So I will occasionally do things like that and I'll be like, how? How do I spell things? Yeah, I don't know. Is there an orc called Dahangri there? Did I just see an orc called Dahangri? I mean, if I if that's the case, that is an awesome name. It was around there. I'm sure I saw an orc called Dahangri. Dahangri. Go back, guys. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure it was around here, but maybe not. Let me keep an eye in case they send something else through. Yes. My thralls, track ahead. Here we go. So where do we want to send the cash? Go on, Manny, keep the pressure on. Yeah, I think Nagash needs to start heading down this way. Plot. We shall rise. Hmm. 
Vampiric in adjacent provinces. That one awkward skelly can get there. Occupy it in my name. surplus uh, no not not willing to risk it yet I I wanted to see what was there and I'm already goddamn regretting it Ballers. Want to get more artillery out for some of these guys? This I'm never a fan of. Because having two tets of tet spells is just a pain in the ass to use. So I'm probably not going to go for these spells at all. Other than maybe life leeching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for now let's keep on the, the melee. Thine right is mine. Honestly, I, I really no longer care how you guys level up. So my economy is beginning to go the right way. Oh, some off. There, coming at us, slowly, slowly. Bollocks. Don't know why I'm saving. Uh, I think I might have just lost Kral, guys. I mean, he should be immortal, so it's not the end of the world, but it's still annoying. Especially as I may well lose his city. That said, he's not the worst army. Queek is probably the big friend. Oh god, we're in reinforcement range. Oh god. Run away! Attempt to get out. It's because it's an ambush I couldn't retreat. I mean, we get to find out what Krell's like. I assume he's literally just the hero. Damn rats. Come on. Come on, Skaven. So, um, we're we're in our walking simulator here, guys. While well, we're waiting for it to start. Yes, I knew it would happen as soon as I said that. Why is the escape route behind us, guys? So basically, we're going to try and pull back here with as many people as we We're actually going to try a tactical withdrawal for a change. Some of these units will be sacrificed. Oh 
God. All right, you can stay there. I don't care about zombies. Basically, as many of these units as possible if I can save them. I have no way I can disengage those guys, but they are doing a good job. Keep on marching. So getting that kind of core of my army out while the rest dies, horrible deaths. I'm sorry guys. I'm so not sorry. Do not get dragged into that combat. Keep on moving. I'm probably going to get double tacked anyway, but there's no way I was winning this battle. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Retreat! Get your asses off the map! Oh, for fuck's sake. Nearly. Nearly. Got some off. Uh, that was really annoying because they, they're their little last uh, death, from, death from below, uh, whatever it's called. Really did screw us up there, guys, because they positioned it perfectly and it broke my, my, my retreat. I suspect Queek is about to double tap us. And I kind of knew that was going to happen, but... There was no way I could win that, unfortunately. Let me not say that. We did kill quite a lot of them, but... Yeah. I mean, you saw what was happening. <sighs> Bollocks. Well, that's annoying. Especially as Morkheim is definitely on their on the agenda for Queeky now. We'll have to throw together an emergency army there. Ooh. That's winnable. I think that's winnable, but it's going to be something we will try next time. <laughs> Basically, so long as I close them down, they don't have that much there, which is it's their artillery is the problem. So the key thing here is to close them down as fast as possible. And we will give that a go next time, though again, I may have overextended. So we shall see. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you are enjoying me getting my butt kicked around the place this time. As always, uh, please like and subscribe, guys. And please pop a comment down below, guys. So, for those who don't know, the algorithm at the moment really favours short-form content. So, long-form Let's Plays like this, not as much. So, liking, liking down there. Obviously, subscribe if you are. But like and pop a comment. It can even be blub or whatever you want. Just pop a comment or talk to other people really helps appease the algorithm, the most important of the Chaos Gods, and means my videos get seen by more people, um, which means I get the capability of being able to create more and more videos long run. Anyway, and also a huge extra special thank you to my channel members and Patreons as well. That is uh, Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, 
and Jared Horn, and they all get early access to the videos about once a week. Cheers.